Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Indie Brew, the only show on the internet dedicated to of mankind's finest achievements, drinking and gaming. Today we look at another cider and another roguelike, surprise surprise. Today we are looking at Angry Orchard's Elderflower, we've done Angry Orchard before. This comes in at 5% alcohol by volume, which is pretty standard, and a Wizard's Lizard by Lost Decade Games. So we're going to get our pour on here, and uh, see just, that looks like a pretty standard cider. Let's get a smell here. It's, I suppose, not surprisingly floral, but it's very floral. There's no real, oh, this flower complements the crisp apple flavor resulting in a balanced sweetness that brings the fruit and flower together. Uh, this citrus has tropical notes with the elderflower balanced for a fresh and bright fruity flavor reminiscent of lychee, pears, and citrus. And I'm actually getting that in the smell, so. Yeah, very floral, very kind of sweet. Um, so we'll get to the game here in, in just a moment. All right, so we are back here with a Wizard's Lizard. So I'm going to start off by saying there are some things I really like about this game. Um, and there are some things that I really... I don't know. There's just some things that don't do it for me. Um, this game is, is definitely a little bit Isaac-inspired, so I'm going to be making a lot of references to that. Um, and, and much like Isaac being, you know, slightly... You looked at like a uh, you know slightly inspired by Zelda. There's th there's more Zelda in this game I think than there is um, Isaac. So we're gonna go to the first level. Um, you do start off in like a town area where you can buy things. I don't have enough money to do that. Um, you can rescue people from the village. Uh, there's a whole storyline um, that you know kind of works itself through. Um, I should definitely go back and get that money. Um, so, as you can see, you know, we have enemies that are shooting things at us, and we, you know, shoot these weird swords. We are, of course, a lizard, uh, as the name implies, and I th our mission is to go and, of course, save our wizard. Uh, so we're like a familiar or something, so that's that's an interesting framing for the story. Um, I will go back and get that money, like I said. Um, so right off the bat, I, I can say one of the things that really doesn't do it for us, that we can dash, um, there is a cooldown, you can see our stuff at the top next to our health. The health display is a little... I don't know how, how I feel. It, it just seems a little... I don't want to say sloppy. Um, but... Not... Uh, I don't know. It doesn't jive with me. Um, the UI, for the most part, is okay. Um, I'm not, you know, too big a stickler on, on UI. Um, and we can just basically do this for money. Um, there are shops, you know. Uh, we'll also find blueprints throughout which will give us access to better items um the more towns people we save the more money we start off with so you know we can kind of cater our build to how we want um and i i kind of feel overall and i as you saw i had well maybe you didn't actually i had i've i've played through for about 15 20 minutes to just get a feel for the game um and i i made it to the first boss um so here's our our shop we can buy some items um i'm told i can actually look at that by hitting escape but, um, I'm not exactly sure. Ah, here we are. Okay. Um, so we have a steel sword, well-balanced. We have a light totem, which I'll show off and increase totem radius equipped to hands. Um, so you can only wear one thing on hand at a time. Uh, we can attack shopkeepers much like Spelunky. Um, and much like Spelunky, they will, um, kill us. So there are treasure chests. Um, and they can actually be mimics. And if you are a long time, one moment. Was gonna sneeze. Um, if you're a long-time viewer of uh, Aether to Awesome, you will know that I I despise mimics in all their forms um, for their kind of treacherous um, design. Um, so I, I like the enemy design overall. Um, I've only seen you know up to the first the first boss. Um, the first boss is pretty difficult. <clears throat> I've actually found the game overall to be a little easy, and then the boss just kind of comes out of nowhere and is, is actually quite difficult. Um, those owls there are, are also the biggest pain in the ass um, in gaming history. They are much like Nintendo bats. Um, They're just very frustrating to deal with. Um, and that's good. Uh, this, you know, it is a roguelike. That's uh, some health. Not that we needed it. Um, and it does seem I can get poisoned or something. That doesn't seem to do anything um, overall. And there are these weird, you know, kill 
owls ten times. I've not seen it accomplish anything. Um, there's definitely more enemies on the screen than a typical Isaac game, um, for f good or bad, I suppose. Um, and definitely more enemies than a typical Zelda game. Um, so that's okay, I, I suppose. I'm not too overly concerned by the number of enemies. Um, I, I think combat actually works really well. Um, the game is very intuitive in its controls. WASD to, to move. You can use the gamepad and uh, arrow keys to attack. Um, shift for dash, Z and X. And we're already done with the first cemetery. Um, Z and X for our um, two items up there that you see, which we will uh, start using here very soon, I imagine. Um, never seen one of these rooms before, but uh, more money is always good. There are different characters, but I, of course, you know, having only played about now 30 minutes of the game, haven't unlocked any of them. Um, and this is a health room. Health seems to be a little on the low side, and we will show off a mechanic in the game that I actually really like. Um, I would... My, my, my second complaint um, is that I, I think the overworld map, the little map you see in the, le the uh, left, the right-hand corner there, is a little small, um, and that, that's not necessarily a problem. Um, so I, I can at least kind of see what they're they're going for. Um, so you you can see these weird like phantom things walking around, um, and those aren't just for show. Um, there are actually going, they actually kind of are an, an interesting aspect to this game. So the the framing of the story is that um, our and we actually took a little bit of damage there. Our our master, our wizard, basically found a potion to stop death. So death came and uh, took him. I mean, you can see we, every time we step over these these um. Okay, so we we really need to get rid of this. Uh, owl. I actually didn't know. I, if you attack the white owl, as far as I knew, it would it would trigger the other owls, and it's got a lot of health. It takes about three hits with your starting sword, um, and it's really annoying. They uh, they often drop uh, those great owls, I believe they're called. Uh, often drop um, some good stuff. So this could be a mimic, and it is indeed a mimic. Um, so uh, that generally kills me uh, dead. Um, so we're just gonna stay at range and deal, you know, a killing blow to him. So we've taken a little bit of damage. It's not the end of the world. Um, so, as you can see, the like I said, these these weird ghost zombie things walking around. Um, when you die, when you, when your health goes to zero, your health, you don't actually die. Um, you actually come back to life with full health. Um, in a death state, you become like a ghost. Um, and it actually changes how things how things behave. Um, ghostly enemies can attack you, and you can attack them. Um, so it actually makes the game a little bit harder, um, especially if you've cleared out a room. You have to double clear out a room, which I you know I I, I guess could be a little tedious. Um, the game really really likes to throw enemies at you from random spots. Um, so mimic enemies are are pretty standard. Um, and as someone who hates mimics. Um, I, I can honestly say, I think it kind of robs the uniqueness of them. Um, there's still something alive. What's still alive? Oh, okay. Um, and, and now we can see why I think having the, the mini-map be so small is, is a problem. And I haven't seen a way to change it, because you have to kind of remember... And we are going to heal. Um, oh, um... Cool. And we got ourselves a ranger's tunic, which seems to have made us a little faster. Maybe not. Um... And I'm going to go in here, though it seems like this is a dead end. Oh no, this is to the next stage. I'd like to, to explore. Maybe we can find ourselves a, um, oh, well, a, uh, Towns member. I blanked on the name there, um, <clears throat> because, you know, that'll help us in the next run. Now that there will be a next run, more than likely, um, and this let's look at style game. Um, and this is another thing. This is where where death actually is is really interesting. Um, these weird tombstone things actually go down in death, and we can get that key. I haven't found out what that does. And these are blueprints. You unlock things, you know, in town uh, by buying the blueprints. So it's a good thing that we bought it. Um, and there are also these weird. Um, Trying to give a good word like pentagram looking things that will bring you back to life so you can you if you if you die quote unquote you you can come back and um and of course we have our our um typical zelda slidey things always worried and you can only have one um 
a shaman's tunic. I'm actually going to see what that does. I really wish there was a better way to find what your items did. Increase totem, totem duration. Uh, okay. We're kind of doing a totem run. And, you know, they're kind of our special abilities and stuff like that, which is cool. Um, and we will show those off. Uh, and this is this is the pentagram room I was talking about. So if we really wanted to, we could die and um, get the the key and then come back here promptly and come back to life. And I'll, I'll show that off because I think um, it's an interesting uh, concept. So this is our death. As you can see, we're back as a ghost, uh, which I think is really cool. Um, and it, it, like I said, it actually impacts the way you play the game. And I, I like that. Um, so now these weird ghosty things can actually come and kill us. Um, but they're very easy to kill. So we got the key. I'm going to go back and I'm going to come back to life. We lose a little bit of health. Um, I think we'll come back at half health. Um, but there's, you know, food. So we'll, we'll heal up. Um, overall, my impressions of this game is I, I actually quite like it. I think it's well designed. Um, I, actually, I think it's as fun as Isaac. And I know I'm probably going to get some some flack for saying that. But I, I, I legitimately think this is a good... good des oh, we actually came back with much less health. Um, so we are going to try to uh, remedy that. You know, I think it's I think it's a well-designed game. I think it's it's a uh, clever game. Um, I'm not a fan of the art style. Um, it reminds me a little of It'll Do um, by Ludosity, which I believe is a um, Dutch company. Um, but oh, uh, there was actually we missed a little bit of of money, but that's okay. Um, yeah, but no. Um, Ludosity is I, I think a Dutch company um, who made It'll Do and uh, Card City Knights, and I, I think their art style is kind of charming because their their games are kind of tongue in cheek, and and not serious. Um, and this game isn't necessarily tongue in cheek, and that's not necessarily a problem. It's just I think um, I don't know. It just this, this art style isn't jive with me and it that you know it, it may jive with others and that's cool um it's not a a big detractor for me for the game i still i still enjoy the game um it's just looking at it doesn't do much for me um and that's again you know to each their own i suppose so of course we do have environmental hazards that we can you know uh use to our advantage um the, the lighting is nice i will say that um you know having played other games other roguelikes with really good lighting um Specifically, and we're just gonna get away from there. Um, we got demon hands. Hopefully, that was an attack or something. Yeah, I really wish there was an easier way um, to uh, decrease decreases alignment, increases attack. I don't know what alignment means, um, actually. Um, so that's that's curious. But yeah, I, I wish um, you know the, the lighting's okay. It's it's nothing nothing special, nothing to write home about. It it, it looks it looks pretty. Um, it, it works with the art style, I can at least, uh, say that, um, there we go, um, was really hoping for some health drops there, because we're probably gonna die again, there's an achievement to, um, uh, beat the game, and there's these weird, chargey things, um, there are also, like, werewolves that will charge you, um, oh, and we died, I probably should have used a, um, uh, spirit orb, which we used there, it's just an AoE attack that, um, oh, uh, they're throwing shovels at me, that's no good, um, these these goblins are 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 real pieces of work. Um, so basically, the game has just gotten a lot harder for us, um, and I'm taking some bad damage. We need a better attack, is what we need. Um, but I I actually haven't seen a shopkeeper who sells weapons, so uh, no idea. I imagine I imagine much like Isaac, you're expected to lose your first couple games uh, to you know build up and just take. The, uh, the soul orb there. You know, you're expected to lose your first couple of games to um, better, you know, unlock things, basically. Your first couple rounds aren't expected to get you to the end of the game. They're expected for you to, uh, you know, die and come back and, uh, you know, keep playing. So, uh, as I said, you know, so far and who knows how this will change. Oh, and there's a townsperson, uh, so that's nice. Um, yeah, for, for the most part, uh, all the... Um, there we go. We'll just use a soul orb there. Uh, didn't do us a whole lot of good. Um, and sometimes those ghosts are those uh, those zombies can turn into ghosts when you're dead. So like I said, we, we basically made the game harder. and We're gonna die here. Um, we'll probably do another run. Um, I would like to to save this um, town guy 
if if at all possible. Um, and then we'll uh, drink our beer and we'll do another run. Um, because I I think I think we'll be able to save him. We're gonna promptly die afterwards. Um, but uh, that's to be expected. Um, I was really hoping to get to the boss in the uh, the let's look at he uh, the indie brew here. Um. Okay, I think I, I think I saved him. Oh, and those, yes, those ghost skull thingies. These are another spectral enemy type. Um, I think we saved him. I'm gonna uh, talk to him. You wanna talk? Yeah, thank you for saving me. I'll contribute 500 gold to supporting you in town. Thank you. Very nice. Um, so I, I expect to, to die pretty promptly here. Um, and I suppose uh, there's not much to do about that. We'll try to at least see the boss, and of course now we have you know more, more ghoulies to fight. I like this game at on um, another aspect because it kind of rewards you for uh, killing everything, um, because you know that's how you unlock things. <laughs> I like breaking things. What can I say? Uh, those are the werewolves I was talking about. They will probably be. They are probably what will kill me, um, because they are pretty awful, and there are um, things that will spawn those ghoulies um as you can see these bone pits and we are dead they're more like skeleton walking skeletons we did die so i'm gonna give ourselves a taste here uh it still smells very citrusy it's not bad um it has a very smoky flavor to it. Um, so here is our thousand gold. Um, so we might actually be able to buy a new weapon, which would be nice. Um, doesn't seem so, but we can buy this lantern, which I have no idea what that does. Um, so we'll check that out. Modifies personal lighting, equipped to light hooks. Okay. I've never seen. I don't know why he's mad. Um, because we just, you know, axed, axed him in the face. Um, but yeah, you can totally attack uh, shopkeepers, and they will kill you. They're they're pretty scary looking. Um, and there are soccer balls. I don't know exactly what that does. Um, uh, so this the cider. Um, yeah, it has a, a very interesting aftertaste as well. It tastes like it's spiced with something. I mean, that's not a bad thing. It's 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 almost um, musky in a strange floral way. It still has this overwhelming like like when you stick your nose into um, a flower and you just oh okay um, you get a a bunch of pollen and you just get that earthy kind of rich living smell and it, it kind of tastes like that it's, it's very um evocative of a, of summer and spring which is 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 a good thing i don't know if i would drink this every day this uh elderflower one um i am getting some citrus notes um which they did say i'd get um and i i would have said that anyway um without having read that um it's it's pretty tasty. Um, I'm pretty sure this room you can uh, um, this weird weird zombie walking around. If we read all of these, um, we can actually spawn like a boss of some sort and um, have a better fight. So um, I I will play a little bit better. But yeah, uh, the, the 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 cider is pretty. It, it has a, a very non cider taste. Um, like I don't get any apple out of it. Um, I don't get any yeast out of it. It, it is really just this very strange, um, this very strange flavor that I, I, I can't, oh, poison slows you, I see, okay. It, it tastes like it smells, it's, it's, it's very spicy, but not in like a, a heat way, just in a flavor profile. And it is very sweet. What you'd expect from a cider, I suppose. So these grave diggers are um, 
pretty pretty cool. I you know I, I say I don't like the art style, but I actually kind of do like how the, the, the enemies are designed. I think that um maybe that's a little hypocritical of me, I don't know. Um but my, my overall feelings of the game are, are fairly positive. Um the, the the only other thing that I can complain about is that the both the sound quality Oh, we actually took a little bit of damage. That's unfortunate. Um, the sound quality is a little strange. It's just, it's, oh, it's very loud. I actually had to go into the mixer and fix it. Um, and the game's in a strange resolution. Although, you know, Isaac is also in a pretty strange uh, resolution. Although that's probably mostly thanks to Flash. So I don't exactly know um, how that affects anything. But um, it, it's nothing affecting gameplay or anything, mind you. It's just... Um, my, my general feelings on the matter. Um, and, but other than that, yeah, totally, totally, um, good game. You can get it on, on Steam right now. It's in its opening weekend as of the time that this video goes up. It's going to be $14, um, otherwise, um, or $15, sorry, it's $14.99. So 15 after tax. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm overall positive of the game. I, I think it's it's a, a pretty fun roguelike. As I said, it, it definitely leans more toward the Zelda aspect than the um, Isaac aspect, and and I think that's for the for the best. Um, I know there's our darker purpose, which is often compared to Isaac. I actually haven't gotten to play our darker purpose, um, so I can't compare the two together. I, I've heard people compare this to our darker purpose. Um, both for good and for bad. Um, and, I don't know, I, I, I enjoy my time with Lizard Lizard. Um, I, I'll definitely be giving it more of a playthrough. Um, I, I'm interested to see how the game progresses. Um, like I said, my, my main complaints, um, as we, we kind of wrap things up, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna try to get to the boss, but, um, we'll, we'll, uh, move, uh, okay. So, oh, Blue Candle seems to have some other lingering effects. And I definitely want to buy this blueprint. The more blueprints we buy, the better. Um, and maybe the more blueprints I buy, it's almost like a rogue legacy kind of thing with the blueprints, it seems. Um, let me see what this uh, blue candle does. Because it's not the same as uh, Isaac Blue Candle. It increases soul power, modifies personal lighting, equipped to light hook. Okay. And oh, okay, we can actually see the main map. Interesting. Okay. And how much time we've taken. Time's not an issue here. Um, so, yeah, those are why I, I hate the uh, the Great Owls. Um, because they will call all the other owls in the entire freaking room. And if you attack any kind of owls otherwise, um, they will come and get you. Um, so, not a, not a fan of those, um, but good enemy design. Um, they're, they're definitely a complex and pain in the ass enemy. Um, love these kind of rooms in any roguelike they they uh, they appear, and there is there is health to be had. So um, I would rather not waste my money on on buying health just because of stupid owls. But uh, you do what you have to do. Yeah. In in review, as we we move more to a, an LP style here at the end, um, my 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 main complaints are I don't know, not really liking the art style. It's not really jiving with me. Not really. Um, the, the weird aspect ratios are, are, are for me as an LP or, um, I, I suppose, a little, um, little wonky. Um, oh, the <laughs> many, many, uh, mimic-type enemies, um, definitely. Um, but yeah, no, and, and for the, for the most part, uh, the, the mini-map being a little small, you know, all, all fairly, I would say, superficial complaints. Um, and... But, you know, on the positives, I think it's fun to play. Uh, the game is smooth. Everything, you know, works. Um, oh, yeah, and, and of course, the, the main the main and biggest complaint, and this one is, there's, there's a caveat of, I haven't played enough to know this for 100, to, to make this as a final judgment call, but every run kind of seems samey, um, for better or for worse. Um, so... Not, again, and that, that could just be because I, I haven't, you know, gotten past the first level, um, to unlock other, um, oh, and we died, that's a shame, um, to unlock other things, um, but I've, I've heard other people make the same, the same criticism, 
Um, and they've gotten deeper. Um, so I I think it's just the nature. Tis the nature of of the beast. Um, you know, at least I you know every run for Isaac changes by by the items. Um, and I, I think the main issue with with the items is that there's just at least from what I've seen, not enough variety. Um, so we definitely want to use one of our spirit things, but um, they don't seem to be doing too much. And they are on cooldown. Um, I, I think we're going to die. We are unfortunately going to die. So we didn't make it to the boss. Boss fight's really cool. We'll give one more. We'll give one more try. Good, good cider. Like I said, I, oh, now we unlocked a um, interesting looking. Oh, uh, well, by the lantern, an interesting looking um, battle axe there, and it seems to be fairly expensive. Um, but yeah, I o overall, I would I would say this is worth getting. Um, I know I, I usually say that on indie brews, but um, I I don't make it a um, a point to look at games that I, I don't think are very good. Um, I don't want to do negative reviews on Indie Brew. You know, there's there's enough negative review in the beer oftentimes that um, I don't particularly feel that it's necessary. Ooh, a, a new book, Book of Totemic Mastery. Um, very cool. And some very cool looking stuff. Probably should have not spent um, the uh, money, but that's okay. So yeah, we will, we will uh, now focus on the game and uh, attempt to kill kill the boss but yeah that that is that is my review of both the beer and the uh the game just kind of trying to parse this um i don't know if it's if it has that kind of isaacness where you know each each after each successful run the game gets harder um i'd be willing to wager a bet that actually this game is again much like rogue legacy a game that i'm not particularly fond of actually um so this is is the um, I I suppose um, a better execution than I think that that than um, Rogue Legacy does. Rogue Legacy I just felt um, had um, too much grinding in it, and I, I I I'm thinking that this game will be. Jeez, I really hate these owls. They are the thing as you've seen pretty much every time ends my run. <laughs> um, so. We are off, and I'm just gonna finish my my cider here. This is this is really good. Um, you know, I I know I've said that that, that concluded our um general review, but the elderflower is not a um a cider I think I'd go for every time. It it it's it, the the flavor profile is just a little too a little too strange for my for my liking. Um. It, 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 I don't say that is a bad thing. Um, I, I think the flavor profile is, it, it's strange, um, in, in in a way that I, I actually think is kind of becoming. It's intriguing to me. Um, it even has a bit of a sourness at the end, which I didn't get at first. Um, I think just the more I drink, the, the more I'm I'm starting to adapt to that weird kind of musky, fruity, polleny flavor. But I I actually. I, I like it, but I'm not exactly sure why I like it. Um, it's one of those things. It's like I, I like it, but I, I can't place why. Um, it, it's it's a different flavor. I've never had elderflower in anything else. Um, I've I've always heard of it, and I, I chose it. Um, as as some people who are are longtime watchers of of indie brew, I try to at least you know make a little bit of a pairing between um, the beer or the the alcohol in question. And the game, you know, Elderflower is kind of a, a wizardy. Um, we definitely want to buy this. Oh, a new totem, very cool. Um, so yeah, I, I, the more I look at it, the more I play here on camera. It does seem that there's a bit of a rogue legacy thing going on with the blueprints, where we can kind of cater our run to how we want, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, it's just, it's not apparent at first. Um, I think a lot of people who will go into this game will look at it like, well, it's just more Isaac. And I, I think that's not necessarily, um, I don't think that's the case. Um, and I, I know I said there's a lot of Zelda to it, um, but 
uh, dungeon compass. Um, I'm actually gonna see what that does. Um, reveals the location of important rooms. Um, so I could... Okay, so we, we know where the exit is. Um, whoop. So we do hit- this is one of those- a, a, I guess, quote, puzzle- oh, that's a bomb! Um, we should probably avoid those. We don't get bombs, but, uh, apparently the- the rooms do. Um, whoop. Just trying to make as much- ouch, money as possible. Even if it's just to go and heal ourselves here. Um, this room is gonna be a problem. Um, that's for sure. Um, that didn't hit anyone. That's unfortunate. We, we can come back to life, luckily. Um, I'd prefer not to have to waste it, but um, it is it is there. Yeah, I, I, I think this is a fun game. I think there's there's a lot of, of... A lot of love that this game could be shown on streaming. Oh, of course, Mimics. Um, that's terrible. And in and, and LPs. Um, yeah, I, I think... I think overall my my impressions are, are overly are fairly positive. Um, if if you know if if the, the art style doesn't do it to you, I, I understand it doesn't really do it for me. Um, we're just gonna be very careful here. Um, I was gonna say we are gonna die. Um, but that's okay. We we can come back to life. Um, fairly quickly, and we have more than enough money to uh, bring ourselves. Oh my God, get off the spider webs. <laughs> um, to bring ourselves back. I really hate these damn freaking owls. Um, they, they, I swear they kill me every time. Every damn time. So, we are going to go. Um, and I'm not gonna waste my money yet, because we are gonna come back to life. And we'll get the slime key, which um, ha having seen a little bit of stuff um, from other LPers, um, it seems that the next level, if you have the slime key, you can do something really interesting with it. So there's almost like a spelunky progression in, in items as well. Um, you know, with what, with the, the onk and and all that, so. And I, I, I like this life-death thing. That's, I think that's the most positive aspect I can I can pull from this game. Um, both this, and it just, it opens up a lot of really interesting puzzle ideas that I don't think any other game has actually done. Um, so I'm, I'm quite impressed. I'm gonna buy a cupcake. Because that seems to be, you know, what'll heal us the most and uh, prolong our, our run. Um, and much like, you know, Isaac, there is, you know, a certain number of levels that you have to progress through. Isaac is two before it changes over. Um, and this is three, as far as I can see. Uh, the boss is on floor three, so. I would like a new weapon. I think that's the one thing that I can I can effectively say would... Uh, improve our our run um, a lot. Those bats really hit. Those black bats, ow, really hit hard. Um, can I? I can. I can attack through. Okay. Um, I for some reason didn't think I could. Um, probably should have held off on getting uh, the. Um, let's use that. And we somehow managed to not take damage there. I'm I'm actually quite impressed. And if you really wanted to, um, you know, grind money, I suppose you could stand there and just keep killing the the, the zombies over and over. But I don't think it's actually going to um, be very effective um, for you. But yeah, yeah, my other complaint, I, su I suppose, and this is just a personal issue. Um, is health really doesn't drop much, and the the spirit totem, the spirit bombs, and the totems don't really seem to do much. Ah, yeah, strange to the last drop. Oh Jesus! Okay, um, bit of a, a frame hit there, uh, blowing up so many things. Um, to be expected, I suppose. Um, and the spider webs in this game are just as annoying as Isaac. Um, new totem. Which I guess is okay. Um, but yeah, I think we'll actually get to the boss. Um, all things willing. I suppose being able to attack over pretty much everything is a good thing. Um, please don't be a mimic, damn it! 
I hate mimics. We'll probably be undead. I don't even know ex exactly what you'd want to call. Oh my god, yep. I hate these damn owls. Um, they are the most annoying effing thing I have ever freaking seen. Um, so bad. Um, there we go. And before we fight the boss here, uh, because that is literally the next room, I will try to um, s see if we have another guy to save. Because the more... Oh, a uh, new weapon, actually. Um, from the looks of it. Yep. And it seems to do more damage. So that's nice. Um, and a helmet. Not exactly sure how we uh, get that chalice um we will explore the rest of the floor where you know this isn't the worst run i've had <laughs> obviously but literally my first run i got to the boss with no problem didn't even die um there's just something i suppose to being on camera that um causes one to not necessarily be as good at video games as you'd like And we don't do too much more damage. Although the idea of throwing shovels at things is, is amusing. We might actually be doing less damage. I honestly have no idea. Um, new boots. Just sit here and kill these skeletons. I thought they were ghoulies. They may still be ghoulies. I don't know. There we go. And, but yeah, my, my impressions overall are, are positive. Um, I would like to... Um, find another another dude so that we could perhaps start off with a better weapon I think that will uh, improve our, our chances of success pretty good pretty well sorry pretty good I apologize for my terrible terrible uh, English so we're not doing too much more damage from the look of things still takes about three hits to kill um, two hits to kill zombies three hits to kill those annoying uh, great owls um, but that's okay. We are going to try to kill the boss, of course. Um, and we do. We do actually get a new... Um... Okay, so that is the... Uh, the the terrible, terrible... Um, and that was our, our soul sphere thingy actually accomplishing something. Um, yeah, those are the werewolves. I think they're actually one of the more interesting enemies that we have we can fight. Um, I'm, I'm kind of... Save that this is our um, our totem, and it also has a cooldown, um, which is to be expected, I suppose. Um, okay. Werewolves have a lot of health, as you can see, okay. and we actually do have to talk to him, I think, um, to save him, but. Uh, There, do, there seems to be less range on our shovel, um, but that's okay. So yeah, I, 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 I guess I'm I'm now in L, LP mode. Oh, I, th I didn't think we could at actually attack him, um, but that's okay. Um, doesn't look like we're going to revive, but uh, we'll at least get to see the boss called the Zombie Warlord. Awesome. So we do start off with 1,500 gold, uh, which is really helpful. I don't think there's a shop that's really going to help us here. We could buy a new totem, perhaps. Um, but from the look of things, I think we are fairly SOL. Um, doesn't look like there's any enemies in this room, which is always nice. I'm going to sneeze again, or at least try, but I don't think it's going to... It's gonna, Work out, man. That's oh, it's so irritating. Don't you just hate that when you can't, you want to sneeze and you can't freaking sneeze? Um, okay. Maybe we can get back to life. Um, that would be very nice. Um, don't die so close to the boss. These these are called green goblins, and they're they're very frustrating. Okay, please hit the damn owl. Okay. 
I will never like owls again after this. Just deliver my messages to Hogwarts. We'll be okay. We'll, we'll be friends. Um, there we go. These zombies don't seem to drop health. And that, again, that's that's a complaint that I've got with the game overall is that health is particularly... Um, oh yes, this is one of the more frustrating rooms and one of the ones that will... Well, this is probably where we die. Um, they are these fans that are pretty terrible and they pushed us into the enemy. Well, that's been a Wizard's Lizards, guys. Um, I I think it's pretty cool. As always, however, thanks for watching.